Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Seafarer Life. I am back with new video after a long time. I hope all of you are doing well. Today we will solve the question paper of MET September only numerical part. In this we have only three questions and all three are very easy one. So we will see one by one. If not subscribe my channel then please share and subscribe among your friends. Okay, so question number one. If the resistance of a circuit is increased to three times and the applied voltage is half, what will happen to the circuit current? So first of all, we will suppose that initial resistance is equal to R, voltage applied is equal to V, then as per ohm's law v is equal to ir what we have to find is circuit current and the condition is when resistance increased to three times and voltage half initially v is equal to ir from here we can get i is equal to v by r now new v v naught is equal to v by 2 and R0 is equal to 3 time of initial R. Okay. Then I0 is equal to V0 divided by R0. Now we will put the value of V0 and R0. After putting this value, we will solve I0. And we will get I0 is equal to 1 by 6 of initial I. Therefore, I0 is decreased to the six time of initial current so this is our answer moving to question number two derive the formula for total resistance of a circuit containing three register in series and parallel very easy one here we have to take three resistance so we will resume assume that the three resistance are r1 r2 and r3 and voltage applied is equal to v and current is i okay i have drawn one simple diagram here r1 r2 r3 are connected in series voltage applied is v and current is i okay now the three resistance are connected in series so voltage across each resistance will be different but current will be same okay now we know that v is equal to ir as per ohm's law also as per kirchhoff law v is equal to if we will apply kirchhoff voltage law in this loop then we will get v is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 okay now we can write v is equal to i r equivalent r equivalent is total resistance v1 is equal to ir1 v2 is equal to ir2 v3 is equal to ir3 taking i common from all this uh, above equation we will get this i and i will cancel each other and we will get r equivalent is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 so this is the formula for the various resistance connected in series now the second part is what will be the formula if the three resistance are connected in parallel. So I have drawn one diagram here R1, R2, R3 are connected in parallel. Okay, voltage applied is V. Now these three resistance are connected in parallel. So voltage, voltage across all these resistance will be same but the current will be different. So I have taken I1, I2 and I3 current flowing through r1 r2 and r3 respectively okay now we will apply kirchhoff law in above circuit kirchhoff current law we will get i is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 okay also as per ohm's law v is equal to ir but uh, i1 i2 and i3 we can calculate I1 will be V by R1, I2 will be V by R2 and I3 V by R3. Okay. Now we will put 
the value of i1 i2 and i3 in this equation okay after putting we will get this we will take out v common from both side v and v will cancel each other and we will get 1 by r equivalent is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 so this is the formula for various resistance connected in parallel moving to the question number three this question is from battery charging and discharging okay so question number three is a battery is charged with a constant current of 16 ampere for 11 hours after which time it is considered to be fully charged its voltage per cell being recorded as 2.2 volt find its ampere hours efficiency if it is now we have to find ampere hour efficiency if it is the first condition is discharge at a rate of 16 ampere for 10 hour and the second case is 28 ampere for 4 hour in either case discharge was discontinued when the voltage per cell fell to 1.8 volt we will see this so what given in this question is charging current which is equal to 16 ampere okay charging current is 16 ampere and time taken to fully charge the battery is 11 hour okay for full charge and we have to find ampere hour efficiency okay if discharge at a rate of 16 ampere for 10 hour and ampere hour efficiency if discharge at 25 ampere for 10 hour so these are the two condition for these two condition we have to find ampere hour efficiency okay solution we will see the first one okay we know that efficiency of anything is output divided by input okay so efficiency ampere hour is equal to output ampere hour divided by input ampere hour output ampere hour is 16 ampere into 10 okay and input is 16 ampere into 11 hour we will solve this and we will get ampere hour efficiency is equal to 0.91 or 91 percent now second is same we will apply same formula ampere hour efficiency is equal to output ampere hour and input ampere hour in this output ampere hour is 20 28 into 4 divided by 16 into 11 okay after solving this we will get ampere hour is equal to 0 decimal 63 or we can write it as 63 percent so okay guys thank you for watching share and subscribe my channel for more and keep supporting